What's up guys? Um, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, honestly, bro, I don't even know how to feel right now. Uh, I've been inside all, all day. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think I should make this video. I don't, I don't know if I should make this video. I, I genuinely don't know how to feel, bro. Like, like, I don't know, man. Yo, I'm sorry, but um, one of my idol, um, Kobe, being bright, passed away this morning due to the due to the helicopter crash. Calabasas, Calabasas, California. And the <clears throat> the saddest part about it was his thirteen-year-old daughter was her thirteen-year-old daughter was with him. I think I think they were heading to a uh, basketball game. Um, so she passed away as well. She was only thirteen. She didn't even get to see me. She didn't even get to live her life, bro. I can't, I can't fight them. The pain that her family is going to, is going through right now. Kobe's family, I can't fight them. The pain that they're going through right now, it's, it's absolutely terrible. Um, he was a husband. He was a father. He was a brother, a son. He was one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Um, to see <laughs> to see him gone so soon is just crazy. He was only forty one years old. <laughs> he he uh, he was just starting to. You know he retired from basketball. He was just starting to live his life with his family, starting to you know be becoming a father, being there for his kids. He was just starting to do that. And for him to be gone already, he's just like, it's unbearable, man. I don't know how to feel, like, you guys. I, I, I honestly don't know how to feel, like, I, I, like, like, I've been, like, I've been a Kobe fan my entire life, like, like, he, like, he, he, he legit inspired me to, uh, <laughs> he inspired me to work so hard at, any, at everything that I do. Anything that I do now is because of Kobe, of what he did. Not only he was one of the greatest player, he was one of the great, greatest player on the court, but also he was a role model. Like he, um, he inspired. He inspired generations. Like. It didn't, it didn't have to be about basketball or anything. It didn't have to be about sports. But it was just like his work ethic that, you know, I love so much that I, his work ethic is something that you could you could incorporate in your daily life, whatever your passion is. It's crazy to see that, man. I don't know. I, yo, I'm sorry. I'm crying. I don't, I can't help it, man. I can't help it, man. It's been a sad day all day. I heard the news when I was at work. I did not want to believe it. I I genuinely did not want to believe it, man. I was like, no, this is not true. Not Kobe. Not Kobe. Like, not Kobe. No, no, no. This is not true. Like, I did not want to believe it. I didn't believe it for like a, at least an hour. I was just, I was going through Instagram. All I see is RIP Kobe, and I was like, oh my god, this might be true. There's no way that's a fake news. And uh, not to be selfish um yeah uh, rest in peace like to the rest of the people that was involved in the crash i'm sure their family is going through a hard time right now as well i'm sure there was fathers daughter um fathers um husbands son that lost that was in the crash that their family is going through the exact same thing that kobe Bryant's family is going through so I, my condol my deep condolences goes, goes towards them as well 
Um, yeah, it's not we can't, we can't be selfish that just Kobe. Yeah, Kobe was great, but like we have to look at the family that lost their lives as well in the plane. <sighs> I don't know. It's just hard for me, man. It's just really hard for me to still. I still don't believe this news, man. I still think it's fake, fake news. I I don't want to believe it, man. Like. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to believe it. I really don't want to believe this news, man. This is not real news. This is not real news. I remember in school, man, like, back in high school, we used to play basketball. Like, literally, all every shot we would take, doesn't matter if it was real basketball, twin paper, we would just yell Kobe. Like, that was, like, that was, like, one of the greatest memories, just to yell his name out, Kobe, and then making the shots. Best feeling ever. Man, I don't. I honestly, I honestly don't know how to feel right now, bro. Like, like this is like one of the worst thing. Ah, wow. Not Kobe, bro. Not Kobe. Not Kobe. Not Kobe, man. Not Kobe. Um, I don't even know if I should post this video. Because half of you probably don't have to even know who I'm talking about. But yeah, Kobe was my idol. He inspired me in so many ways that it's, it's unreal. Like, he's gone. Like, he's actually gone. There's no more Kobe. He's actually gone. Obviously, his legacy is going to live on forever. Forever. Um, I just hope that the league, the NBA, shows a lot of respect for him. But um, literally, I, should, I think every team in the, in, the, in the NBA should retire Kobe's jersey, number 24. I think every team literally in the league should retire his number. Um, like, he did so many great things for this game um, of basketball that it's unreal, man. But, um, I'm about to play this video for you guys. Um, I'm about to play the top 10 plays of his career. Um, it's gonna, I'm definitely gonna cry. Um, one of my favorite Kobe memories, um, um, the, I think 2010 final against the Celtics, but I literally, um, I watched literally every game. Um, I was I was still young, so I would um, I would stay up super super late to watch the games. I would get yeah, I would get yelled at because um, the TV was too loud, and I had to go downstairs to watch the game. Um, that was one of the greatest memory. I mean, Kobe winning that championship meant so much for him, and it was just insane. Um, but yeah, I'm about to play this video for you guys. Um, we're about to react to um, Kobe's top ten plays. Man, this is unreal, man. This is unreal. This is unreal. Um, I remember that play. I was really young when that happened. I was really young. Um, that was crazy. I was I was going crazy. I had no idea what I was doing when he did that play. I was just I was young. I was just watching basketball. I didn't really know of Kobe back then, but I was I used to watch basketball a lot, so I remember that play. And Kobe with emphasis. Our chest looking gets it to the has to put it up for the buzzer. I remember watching this game, bro. That was like that was like one of the greatest buzz of I've ever seen, like live. And like I was like, there's no way he's making that shot. He was literally off one leg and then just Bow, it was insane, bro. Like it was like I was like, there's no way he's making that shot. Literally, I think was it D Wade? Was it D Wade? Yeah, I think D Wade was literally all over him, like literally smothering him. I was like, there's no way he's making that shot and he bakes it in off one leg. I was going insane. And like that was that's definitely one of my favorite photo of um Kobe Bryant like 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 the, you could see the 
mm, the greatness in his face, the like hunger, how much he really loved the game. Like he literally gave the game all he could. Like it, it was insane, but that's definitely one of my favorite. Like I just like the fierceness of his but this is sad, man. Actually, I don't that was old. I don't remember that. I was really young. Uh, Ooh, I don't remember that, I don't remember that play. I don't remember that play. I was really young as well. I just used to watch basketball a lot. So I didn't really, I, was, I didn't really know of Kobe. I, don't, I didn't really get to really know of Kobe until like 2009, I think. That's when I really started loving him. Uh, because I knew more of basketball. I used to just watch basketball, but that's it. I didn't really have a favorite team back then. I used to just watch basketball. <laughs> that duck was nasty. Oh, I remember that play too. That pass, that pass was dirty. That pass was dirty. Like, how did he see that? Like, how did he see that? Man? Like, how did he see that? I think that was the baseline dunk. Yep, yeah, that was the baseline dunk. That was insane. That was insane. That was insane. That was insane. And windmill baseline. That's definitely one of my favorite player plays or oh, one of my favorite highlights of Kobe Bryant. That dunk, that was literally the dirtiest dunk ever. Like like easy, the dirtiest dunk ever. Like like <laughs> it was insane, man. It was insane. It was insane. Look how far he jumped. Like, literally. Look at this. Poster. That's a poster right there. Oh, that play was just insane. It's insane. It's insane. And then the fact that... The fact that not only that, he got a game winner too. He got a game winner out of it too. He tied he tied a game, took it to overtime, and then hit a game winner. That was like just insane. 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 He's a game winner. I think that's definitely one of the greatest game winners. A fadeaway, splash. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy, bro. Number one. I want to see it. Number one. Is. Oh, that's the 81 points. Yep, 81 points. Definitely one of the greatest moments of um, Kobe Bryant. Definitely one of the greatest moments of Kobe Bryant. 81 points. Definitely. He was. <laughs> he was a man on a mission for that. It was a, He was a man on a, a mission. I'm surprised he didn't get 100 points. He didn't get 100 points. What is this? What is this? But um, yeah, that's it for you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna post this video, but if I end up posting this video, um, I don't give two fucks about clout or anything. I don't care if you guys like or dislike this video. But out of respect for Kobe, please like no um, no hatred in the comment section. If you have something mean you want to say about my video, um. Go comment on some other video and say and say that mean shit that you want to say. But like, please respect this video. If I post this video, uh, it's because I, y'all have no idea how much love I have for Kobe Bryant. Um, I love this. I love this guy, man. He was my idol. Um, he helped me out through so much, man. Y'all just have no idea. But please, like, no, please don't show any hate in this video. Um, I just want to make this video just as memory, man. As a memory. As a memory. As a memory. Because, man, life is too short, man. Life is too short, guys. Um, I really advise you guys to live your life to the fullest. Um, do do what makes you happy, man. Because you don't know. Tomorrow is really not promised. Tomorrow is really not promised. The next second is not promised, bro. Not only tomorrow is my promise, the next second, the next minute, 
Next hour is not promised. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. It doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't matter how old you are. Anything can happen in the next two seconds, three seconds, one second, or in the next hour or so. Anything can happen. So live your life to the fullest, bro. Live your life to the fullest. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy and live your and love your loved ones, man. Stop all that petty crap of arguing with your loved ones, your friends that forgive. At the end of the day, when that person is gone, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Forgive, forgive, forgive your loved ones, man. Forgive your friends. Forgive everyone, man. Um, life is too short. Life is way too short, man. Life is way too short, man. Like, take this as motivation. Kobe would want us to move forward. But obviously, we can't right now. We really can't right now because we lost a legend. We can't move forward. But that's what Kobe would want. Kobe would want us to move forward, move past this. But we obviously, we can't. This is a tragedy. This is a tragedy. We got to mourn this. And it's going to take weeks, days however long it takes but Kobe would want us to move past this but the moral of this story is live your life to the fullest do what makes you happy go hug a loved one right now go hug a loved one right now tell them that tell them that you love them and tell them that you appreciate them um, all right man this is it man um, all right be Kobe you will be missed I will see you in heaven your legacy will live on forever. R.I.P. G.G. You was you you were on the on the next to be great. Sadly, we didn't get we didn't get the chance to experience that. And R.I.P. to the one that lost their life as well in that crash. And my deepest condolences go to your families and your and Kobe's wife families. Thank you so much. Please. I'll see you guys.